look around and through the atmosphere, it's absolutely immense, it really is, and it's some spectacle for the fans in, in these in Middlesbrough. So Middlesbrough and Chelsea lock horns in the League Cup for the first time since the 98 final. And Wembley return for one of them is tantalisingly close, yet still so far away. Borough at home for the first time in this season's competition, Chelsea on the road for the first time. between them in the football pyramid and at last the ball is rolling at the riverside Middlesbrough kicking from right to left in the opening half Middlesbrough I will I am sure will take huge belief from their performance against Aston Villa at the weekend and we'll see how Middlesbrough line up because there is a little bit of confusion as to whether it will be a back three or a back four, Lee Hendrick. Yeah, just looking at it straight away, it is a back three for sure. And you can already see that Rex Van Gogh's playing hard, pitching that left-hand side. And an early opening here for Middlesbrough. And Latte Lack just couldn't get the purchase on it that he was looking for. Well, they need to utilise him as much as possible this evening because he's got the pace and awareness, he's switched on, he just can't get away from his marker there. And I think the challenge there just stops him from really generating any power on the shot. It's an unbelievable little slide challenge there that quite easily could have led to a goal, but really good positive start from Borough, and that man, he will lead the line for sure. He will ask questions, he's got that sharpness and ability to do so. Right away, Kay, putting the pressure on Engel. Does well to pop that up. It was that time, wasn't it? I just think he... Gallagher can just get his head up, he could maybe have had a touch rather than trying to play that first time. That allows William Obreke to really put the afterburners on, get that advantage over Lucas Engel. Oh, Housen's gifted it straight to Cole Palmer! And somehow he has missed. You would have put your house on him scoring from there, Cole Palmer. And Johnny Housen will be the most relieved man inside the Riverside. Yeah, it's really poor for Johnny Housen, isn't it? It's a bad pass, second with the goal. I thought he was going to hit that first time after having the touch. I think the other touch just delayed. Jones with the throw. Vandenberg, who really has impressed, and probably the pick of Middlesbrough signings this summer. Here's Jones, can he get the ball out? Coburn's up there with him, and Hackney's arriving! Listen to the Riverside roar! It's the lad from Redka who gives Borough the lead! First blood to the championship side! Unbelievable, the atmosphere, the roof has officially gone off here, hasn't it, the Riverside, unbelievable. I swear I felt that there was going to be danger, particularly calling it on a yellow card. And just the fact that they spin a ball into that channel, knowing that Isaiah Jones has got pace, he's got ability, and he does brilliantly, he really does, it's a great cutback, but you have the credit. The fact that Hayden Hackney makes the decision to go and get into the box, be the second striker, and the timing is imperfect because he just lands on that ball. As that ball's played in from Isaiah Jones, it's a nick. Absolutely no chance for Petrovic because the ball's got pace, because the ball is on the money. And what a finish for that young man back in the team. And now in, added on time at the end of the first half. Palmer to Fernandez. Sterling. Gallagher. Fernandez. Caicedo to hit it. Firmly struck, but again, not on target. It's a super strike, isn't it? Him Sterling. Look, they're doubling off on him on that left hand side, and then space opens up. Credit to. He's quite said he's not a million miles away to be quite honest. It's a good first touch, it's a good strike. It's always just drifting away from the goal.
Gusto. This is the side that more often than not they're looking to work something, Chelsea. Adewoke looking to exchange there with Palmer. Out it goes to Sterling. Fernandez, he takes aim. Oh, Gomez it, and Palmer puts it over the top. Goodness me, he could have had three goals in this first half, Cole Palmer. And he's blown his latest opportunity. And Tom Glover, look, he will have to thank his lucky stars, won't he? Because this should be a routine catch. So Fernandez just hitting the target, really, and it just scoops and bubbles out of his arm. But that is a chance that Cole Palmer, someone of his calibre, someone of his form, should certainly be sticking in the back of the net. Thiago Silva. Disassi. Caicedo, what a ball. It's Cole Palmer. Surely this time, Glover makes the save. That's brilliant. It's brilliant to watch, but this should be 1 1. There's no doubt. Cole Palmer, brilliant. Just have a look at the run he makes. He knows he's got the beat in a clock, composed. Then. You're just expecting that to nestle in that far corner. It's a big save again from Tom Clover, but again, I just feel that it favours the goalkeeper. Does Chelsea just patient approach to Fernandez just tries to pick out that far post and really good header actually from Madrake it's caught off balance Palmer. it's a good ball Fernandez Madrake Gallagher and Sterling in the middle it'll come in now from Gusto it's a poor cross but points Carly for Gallagher it's a rather scuffed effort that trickles wide. Yeah, it's a good opportunity as well, because have a look at the touch from Conor Gallagher. He creates the half a yard, and he really does drag his shots, doesn't he? That five puts that any bit of pressure on him. What a good time. Angle. Palmer. Mudrick. On the retreat, gathered by Breuer, but again, so many red shirts in and around him. Palmer, Gusto. Felix Clark this time. Heroic defending. It's unbelievable defending. I'd say just done a little bit quicker though from Gusto. Just go by him and try and put the ball in the box. Too many step overs. Defensively, Sterling. Oh, we've seen him score from that kind of range before numerous times, not this time. The Middlesbrough are, are pegged back in their half, they have been for long periods of the second half. We go into the second leg, really love against the Premier League outfit. One step closer. It is advantage Middlesbrough in the race for. by Hayden Hackney, whose first half goal proves to be the difference. Cole Palmer had several opportunities to score himself in the first half. But Middlesbrough defended heroically in that second period to protect that one-goal advantage. And they will travel to Stamford Bridge in a fortnight full of belief that they can make it all the way to the final. Look at the scenes here at the Riverside Stadium.